Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Um, this is just an update of the scrapyard um, bits that I got from there. This is the Variac. I've uh, repaired the Variac. There's the uh, the damaged area which I've replaced. <coughs> it's, uh, it's working pretty well now. You can see the scuffs and marks which were to have been thrown around. And um, I've put some clear nail varnish over it to, to stop anything from shorting anything out. Of the uh, windings being so close together, the last thing I want is it to uh, flush over. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. It works pretty well. As you can see, it's just over six amps, and 240 volts. And I've wired it just 100 and, about 110 volts just to uh, make sure that everything was working all right and there was no problems. Um, I've got it just on the meter here. Uh, the meter glows up red, of course, because it picks up the toroidal magnetic field from it. So it's just under a volt just there. So I'll uh, wind it up and uh, show you it working up to 110. So there you go. No problems. All I need to do now is just get it in a project box and I can move it around and take it wherever I want, bring it upstairs or wherever and you know, great. I've been wanting one of the little one like this to uh, you know, to use in the house and whatnot and uh, I can find one so I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, in the last video I mentioned um, that it was, you know, not not a normal um, Variac. I quickly just looked at the, and, and because I'd, I'd I'd seen the uh, the plugs like that. I just gathered it was some sort of um, variable, you know, uh, wire wound resistor of some sort. You know, but uh, it's just a normal variac. So I just wanted to apologise about that mistake there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves. Speak again.